A father is expected to protect his son, but what happens when that's not possible? Cameron McIntosh now with why bullies are pushing one family over the edge. He runs with a limp, but a prosthetic leg doesn't keep Ryan Coomber down. Not time for school. However, his parents say it did make him a target for bullying on his hour-long ride on the school bus, coming to a head with a 13-year-old last week. He was punched in the eye by the biggest kid on the bus. Just push me and punch me right in my eye. Ryan's dad tried complaining. First, he says to the kid's parents to no avail. Then he took it to the school. The school denied anything ever happened. Well, my son has the black eye. Something happened. School board officials won't comment, but claim zero tolerance for bullying. Still, Coomber says they came up with this solution. Ryan will no longer be on the bus that it's not safe for him or my daughter, who's not here, and that we have to drive them in the round trip 200 kilometers each day. Anti-bullying groups say that's not a unique response, as school boards across the country grapple with enforcing rules on buses that are often packed, traveling far, and have only one adult who needs to be focused on the road. Suzanne Zarwich is with the Canadian Safe School Network. A lot of what we want to do is educate our students to proper relationship behavior and also for the students who are experiencing negative behavior, give them an avenue to report that, that, that um, interference. In this case, Ryan's dad says no one is listening. He's going to file a lawsuit against the school board. He has the right to an education. He has the right to go on a school bus. He has the same rights as any other child. And for the time being, it looks like it's going to be a lot of driving. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Regina.